Hey you guys, so I'm doing my weekly recap from my car this time because it's been a little busy um, and I figure why not do it from the car where I can have peace and quiet to be honest. Um, so hopefully that's a little representative of the type of week that I've had. Um, just really quick, I've been spending a lot of time at home with the kids. Last week I actually had 100% focus on the children um, in addition to work of course but John went back to work after I had had um, a pretty serious injury um, so he was home for about three weeks my mom even came to hang out and stay with us and he was home she was there and they really took great care of me I'm not gonna lie so it was really difficult having him go back to work and me have to be responsible for the kids and my knee still isn't resolved. So I actually have surgery this Thursday and I'm really, I know most people aren't excited about surgery, um, but I am excited to actually go through the process of getting the surgery done because it'll mean that I can get back to my normal life. Um, the highlights of my week, I guess the first thing is like, I got really caught up on stuff that I had to work on at work. And so I'm really, really happy that I'm done with like those big work projects right before I'm going to be out for two weeks. And then I've had some great, great experiences with connecting with people online on Instagram, which has also opened up a sea of opportunity. I've had a couple of brands reach out to me and they've sent me either free products or um, there's a prospect of free products and, and, and resources being sent our way. So I'm really excited to try out some of those items. Um, and so you'll be seeing some recipes coming from me here soon in the next couple of weeks over the next month, actually. Um, I also, the other thing I wanted to share was I was actually supposed to have um, an IG live interview with myself and I was going to talk through my life story. That was supposed to happen on Saturday, but for whatever reason, my Instagram account had some challenges. So I had to actually, actually I couldn't even make a decision. They just locked me out of my account so I could go in and do like a couple of things. Um, so that was really frustrating, but I'm back online now. I was only down for about 12 hours or so. Um, which actually made me realize like we rely so much on technology and social media to keep us sustained and, and, and to keep us entertained, but like we shouldn't be so reliant upon social media to validate us and to keep us entertained. You know, I tell my kids all the time, especially our eight year old, like, well, now he's nine, but I always tell him, I'm like, you don't need TV to entertain you. And yet I sit there on my phone on social media for hours on end. And yes, I'm trying to build a business um, from this. But at the same time, like I can have community with real human beings, not just social media. So it just reset me, honestly, like the fact that and the other thing is like social media has so much control over us. So I've, I've just been reflecting on that, like how much control am I giving social media on my life? Um, so that's been on my heart heavy lately. So I'll be thinking about that, you know, and I've heard so many people who are successful talk about the importance of having multiple streams of revenue generating like projects and initiatives that you do in your day to day. So I'm thinking a lot more about that. And I'm going to start leveraging some of the platforms and resources and information that I have to really truly like make sure that I'm not spread thin in 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 any one spot, right? So if Instagram were to go down tomorrow, would I still have success because a lot of the connections that I've made have been through Instagram? So that's something that I'm really reflecting on and I think it's good for us all to reflect on. Um, and I'm not saying that Instagram isn't a great platform because I do think that it is, but I think it's gonna be important for us to have uh, roots in multiple multiple channels and multiple platforms because change is, change is consistently taking place. So um, yeah, um, so that's pretty much what's going on with me. I'm looking forward to this week ahead. I have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I'll be working at my corporate job and then Thursday until early August, I'll be off um, because I have the surgery on Thursday. So my mom will be coming to town to visit and I'm just very excited to get this going and get myself back on track with my health and fitness goals. 
Um, tell me about you. How are you doing? Comment in the comments. I want to know how you guys are doing. Like I said, I'm coming from getting a pedicure, so I figured I'd record this now. Um, oh, since I couldn't do the IG live interview, that was the whole point of me talking about Instagram. Since I can't do the, I couldn't do the live on Saturday because my Instagram wasn't working, I'm actually going, or Friday, sorry. I'm gonna be doing my um, interview with myself. If you wanna tune in on Instagram on Wednesday, uh, July 21st at 7 p.m. I'll be doing the IG live at that time and you can ask me questions in advance or while I'm on the Q&A session live. Um, so feel free to ask any questions that you have in advance through IG or here on YouTube and then you can join me over on IG. And then I'll also post the recording here on, in, on, on YouTube as well. And then I have a few other interviews coming up. So the next interview after my interview will be um, with a woman who is amazing. She's a vegan nutritionist and she's absolutely fantastic. So I think you guys will really enjoy her. And that's on July 29th. I have people who are looking at me like, what is she doing in her car? Um, and then I have another interview early August with another amazing, amazing woman who tests aquafaba, um, which actually is the, the liquid that comes in cans of like chickpeas and things like that. So I'll be talking with her because she tests a lot of vegan recipes. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to join me on IG Live for some of those upcoming events. And I just can't wait to connect with all of you. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you soon. Have a great week.